My name is Jack Sawyer. I'm an architect with SQ Demos Ripple Architects, and we are the design architects for the building behind me, Hex Square Phase 3. I've been an architect for about 27 years, including a master's degree at Georgia Tech. And so it's very exciting to me to be back here on campus helping with such a monumental project, something that's really going to change Tech Square and the entire campus uh, for the better. I think that one of the most interesting components about this building is the massing of the project. The building is comprised of three masses. One is the podium, which is the first three stories of the building at the bottom. It's a large rectangular shape that will house mostly classrooms. Then you have the two towers up above. The neat thing about this project and what's really creative from the design team is how those two towers look like two separate towers visually and act like two separate towers, but share one common building core for vertical transportation, that's elevators. So you have the George Tower and the Scheller Tower, which appear different, appear separate, but work together in unison. The project has a series of large grand staircases that wrap up the exterior of the podium. They're large experiential staircases, 10 to 15 feet wide, that are really used to promote circulation up through the building. There's a lot of different classrooms on different levels, and we don't want everybody just riding the elevator up and down. Georgia Tech has lofty sustainability goals for the project, which we really admire. These are kind of the projects we like to work on. And we're doing that through very careful detailing of the skin, of the, the type of glass we use, the type of insulation we use, and making sure the envelope is super tight. And then we also work on the system side, the air conditioning, the electrical systems, et cetera, to make sure that they're dialed in as efficiently as they can be. A building is oriented massing-wise for building performance and sustainability reasons. We run the buildings in the east-west direction, giving them a larger southern exposure. Just helps with heat load from the sun and setting the building up for success. The exterior of the skin is um, unique, and it's um, designed around around the conditions of the two donors and the need for the two tower expressions. So one tower will be highly articulated with a textured skin. The other tower, the north tower, will be a clean glass box to just pro provide that contrast between the two so they read independently. I would say that running a job site for a large construction project like Tech Square is very similar to running a business. A lot of the things that I learned in my evening MBA, I apply to my day-to-day -day job as a general contractor. There are a lot of complex things to consider. Operational logistics, there are people and personalities to manage, there's contracts with vendors and trade partners. All these things need to go into play and be carefully managed for the project to be successful. I'm really excited about the team and the work that we're putting into place here for Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech is a great client and everybody on the project recognizes that and recognizes the value of what this project is bringing to the institute and to the student body. I think that this project is a great example of the power of philanthropy and donor support. The generosity of the Scheller and George families really gave way to this project and what it will contribute to the institute and to the student body. I think that the building will completely change Tech Square for the better and really open up all new possibilities for it for the future.